states are um, kind of going in the opposite direction as what uh, of what a lot of people are, or a lot of states have been doing lately, and they're allowing um, baiting back into the regulations. Well, if you ask me, all these states are backwards. I mean, <laughs> yeah. the regulations they have at all these states are backwards. I mean, they're not keeping up with modern times. I mean, they don't know how to manage states. Here's the, uh, so we give them some credit here. It's from deer and deer hunt. And essentially that uh, this coming year, it is Minnesota and Alabama are going to allow um, baiting back into these counties. You can see here in Minnesota and then uh, I think and Alabama. You made it fully legally up there now too, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. So just something newsworthy, I guess, that we I was going to. Why, why do you think they're doing that? What do you think the reasoning is? I don't know. I think they think they get some more hunters and it's, um, um, I think they think it's a popular thing. And I think yeah. it is popular. I, I think they do have some people that uh, like that, um, that style of hunting. But I think your most of your hunters don't. Yeah. I mean, uh, to me, I, I could care less how somebody gets their or deer or whatever but uh when it affects you is when it's a problem yeah it's you know when when debating becomes so widespread that it's affecting people hunting normally and um wanting to hunt a natural movement that's where it becomes a problem and it's kind of interesting to see states go kind of backwards in direction from you know um what everybody wanted to get away from yeah yeah, it's it's weird, and I don't know. Maybe maybe we're sheltered from it just because we are so engulfed in the like public land and mobile hunting thing. Maybe maybe there is a whole freaking form about bait and deer and all that. You know, I, I don't know, but it's kind of, it is it is weird. It's uh, something I didn't expect to see. Yeah. I guess it's kind of um, interesting. It looks like Alabama really went a backwards road. So I mean, yeah. you either make it legal or you don't. And what they did is they made it legal on private land. So. Mm -hmm. Once again, people who have private land have an even bigger benefit, you know. Yeah, and it. Um, I feel like it'd be just a mess if you made it legal in public, though. I mean, people would be, you know. Maybe, maybe not. But you just think about like, uh, like the marsh I hunt. Yeah. Or any marsh that you hunt, it's a, a bowl of like a thousand acres or, or something, surrounded by farms. Mm -hmm. All those farms start baiting. And all of a sudden, you're kind of void of deer in the marsh, at least yeah. for a portion of deer, at least for like, uh, like uh, for the, the winter time when there's a lack of food. Yeah. You know, so yeah. It's, it's kind of, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't really mind baiters if that, you know, kind of like uh, I think about the old guy who uh, can barely walk. He can just get out there. He doesn't have time to scout and stuff. And, sitting on a bucket if you put out some bait maybe you could kill a deer i got no problem with that it's but uh it just becomes so widespread it kind of affects everybody yeah no that's a good point if you want to watch another video click right here but don't forget to subscribe before you leave